access to every game wow. there. Today we're getting the master key to an arcade. Let's see how these claw machines really work and see if we can fix them before an opening busy weekend. So we gotta fix our uh, game games. What's wrong with it? Well, I wanna make sure that my settings are right because I don't yeah. know if the claw is grabbing enough or too much. Let's open this I want it sucker to be up. Fair. I don't want people to be losing out, but I also Ooh, don't wanna be losing out myself. Yeah, so we're gonna double check the, the claw machines for him, but then we gotta set these string cutting games up. We gotta see if we can do this before the weekend here because we're filming on a Friday, so we gotta get this done like today. Can we do it? I don't know, stay tuned. So you guys like the, like the behind the scenes stuff, we're gonna take a look at some behind the scenes stuff with the uh, prize games today, guys. It's gonna be really neat, so. This thing will cook you breakfast. It literally does everything. It's the Intella programmer, this, this, it's all Elot standard now. This is what they come with, guys. This is the magic box in here that can make this thing rig. You can set the product cost, the estimated price out. You can change the pickup time. I mean, this thing, is like well literally you can change out like cooking your breakfast well As i will tell you when we first turned the game on and it did was just winning every very time start it won <laughs> every single time yeah i didn't like that so i changed a couple of things i just want to make sure it's right learn function oh, yeah. ah this is nice so the learn claw is actually if you have the same type of prize in here which he has so it actually learns the weight the claw will drop and pick the prize up to measure and it determines the retaining power. So the retaining power and all that is as it picks it up, you know, what kind of power do you want it to hold, you know, so that'll, that's how you, why you see it slip out sometimes. Automatic claw, you can set on or off. So he has automatic claw off. Let's try it. So it's gonna go over here and pick a prize up and it's gonna adjust the retain, the strength like automatically based on the prize weight. Before it was on and it was winning all the time. I think that was the one setting I changed, I think. Then maybe we should just leave it off. See All right, can we do like a test play just to show it? All right, here it goes. It's gonna pick a prize up, so we gotta make sure it's like gettable here. Don't touch the claw, it's gonna learn, watch. Yeah, look, see how it's loosening? So it knows now the weight of that prize. Is that ingenious? Like, that's scary. Pick up time is interesting. This adjusts how long the prize is held before the claw starts to loosen up. So if you really wanna get the player excited, you make it three seconds, it hits the top, and they're like, oh crap, I want AirPods, and it drops them, and they're like, oh man. Random pickup on, let's see what that means. This function is to randomize the pickup time you set. Interesting, I like that. Timer 30 seconds is good. How much the product has to bring in? How much do you want this product to bring in before it wins? You have it on $25. They're like eight to $10. Right, people don't realize how much these cost. These are bigger plush in here, so these are around eight to 10 bucks, you know, and product cost eight. 16. Yeah, then leave it, leave it go then. Ah, there we go. Let's go for this guy. Let's try this little goober here. I miss him like a total idiot. <laughs> Alright, well here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Give it a lot of air. That's a perfect prize you want to go for right there. If I can't win this, then I'm just gonna retire forever. Look at that, right up the butt. Yeah, see that's, that we have it on a second. So I think a second is better than what you had it on. It, it loosens after a second. So in theory, if a prize is near and if you stadium stack these, as the claw drops it, it might tumble in. So there is still a little bit of skill involved. So that's how I think you could do this. You know, if you had more stuff, you could stadium stack it. But I mean, I have the automatic thing on and it's, it seems to be doing its job. I miss when there was just a knob in there that you turned to adjust the strength and now it's all this stuff, but. Should I put more all these set. Yeah, uh, I, a little bit, yeah. You can have some kind of face out like this way, so it attracts, because eyes of, of plush attract players, so you can have them kind of looking out all angles of the machine here. Kind of like, hey, what's up? Win me, goober. Here we go! Woohoo! <laughs> he just tosses them in there. So his technique, guys, is called the throw and go. But wait, there's more. Choo, choo, under the leg. Ah, oh, brah. I'm like a ninja. Yeah, that looks way better. All right, now we're gonna just make it look nice on top here. It is hard to stack this thing, cause like, you can't go all the way in. Oh my God, he got more? Nice, Niners and Bears, oh my! Good Lord. You made that look pretty. I tried. <laughs> He's just throwing them in there. All right, let's start stacking them up towards the back. And these you don't have to wedge in there. You want them to be able to pick them up because the claws, you know, obviously auto adjusting guys, so it doesn't matter like how loose they are. That's it. I'll do a test game. Don't you dare mess that up. <laughs> Fix it. Well, all that hard work. 
Let's see if it even picks it up. Uh, I suck. All right, that's it. It's all ready to go. All right, so we're at the smaller E-Claw now. He wants me to check this out. It's got some monkeys inside, some true colored monkeys. I just set the auto claw again for the green one and it should be good to go now. So the claw will learn, guys, it knows. Let's do a test play here. And we're gonna put some more uh, monkeys in this little thing. That's a perfect grab, look at that. And it's gone. Yeah, it's it's good. Daryl got monkeys. Smells new. <laughs> you and that smelling fries is like. Oh, the monkey butt. One thing you can do with this, I mean, yeah, you have these now. I've seen them theme a machine, like if it's like a licensed thing. Say for example, Minecraft is real popular right now. Yeah. So if you like print out some like, you know, have Carson design some like little Minecraft picture, put it on the back there, see where the display is. Yeah, and you can hang up like prizes that are featured in there. Those tend to kind of attract players more, I think. We'll have this guy hang over the edge. I always like to do that, entices people. Much better, much better. Look how beautiful that looks. And that's it. It's now ready to go. So this one's a little bit more tricky as far as that auto claw because as you notice guys, he has two different types of things in here. So he has a mix. So he has what's called a generic. So he's just generic little things. And then he has licensed stuff, which is the Super Mario stuff in there. And those are heavier than these little generic things. See, these generics don't have as much stuffing in them, so they're way lighter. Let's see what you have this one on now. Warning, grab too strong. Press S to resume. <laughs> it lets you know everything, guys. Uh, I guess the trend is paying out more than what it's set at. But see, it doesn't know that there's generic prizes mixed in with this thing. That's the thing, you know, because these are lighter. People can win these every time, which I kind of like, you know. Product costs three. How much does those Marios cost? More than that. Yeah, like eight bucks. So you want to go in the middle since you have a mixture here? How about five? Here, we'll do the automatic claw again. So now it's, it's gauging how heavy Mario is, guys. Pretty crazy. Yeah, see, look. Isn't that crazy? Warning, objects weight. Didn't like that one. Yeah, this guy's heavy. All right, do him then. Like how many grams? Nope. Daryl can't even win with the thing open. Well, I don't play this game. There you go. That's got him. Oh. Uh, object not picked or weight too low. Here, just... You do it. Okay, that should do it right there. So now it's gauging Donkey Kong's weight here. And boom, done, accepted. So that should be good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a generic one to see if it actually holds on because they're, they're much lighter than the uh, license. But there's still some skill. You have to grab it right. See, that one just tumbled out. So I think it's fair. You know, Daryl's got to make a, at least some money, but it's at least fair for the player where they're not, you know, spending $100 and not winning anything. So it's all about balance, these things. See, yeah, see, it's, it's, that's perfect. That's perfect. Because they got to work the generic stuff over, and that's winnable even if it's not on full strength grab. But your license stuff, he's not gonna be, you know, losing money on those. But you still feel like you're gonna win. I love it. I just wanna check the uh, pickup time. 0.4 seconds, I'm gonna adjust that to maybe like 0.6. So it holds on to it stronger, They're just a little bit longer and they can kind of tumble it over. I think you're all good. You are ready to go, sir. So we're collecting here. Let's see how many bills are. Here's the quarters. Woo! Look at that Phantom Moolah. Let's fill her up. So he's labeling the gift card, guys, so people know when it's in this machine that, it, you know, what the value is, so. There you go, guys, look at that. $10 gift card, shebang. And then these are gonna be the big prize. Skull candy earbuds. These are nice, they already have a hook. Gorgeous. Gorgeous? Gorgeous. Now the big end. There it is, <laughs> nice, major prize. So now we gotta reset it because people were playing this without the uh, prizes in there, so we wanna reset it just to let the machine know, say, hey, we put new stuff in here so we don't want just them paying out instantly, you know what I mean? All right, here we go. Press a couple buttons. Look at that, Daryl got this all, he did not even have to look at the manual. He's a pro. So we can see a short count, like I reset that. Free credits. Free oh. credits are like when people beat the high score, uh, it gives them a free play. Oh, I didn't know that. That's neat. Broken record, so there's nine broken records. Oh, wow. So I can reset this if I want to. Right, right. But we have a famous store player that has the record right now. Oh, wow. So number one, won six times. We're going to zero that out. Same with two. Same with three. Now we can go back. Prize number one, right here. All right. The value, that means whenever you do a random generator, the number shouldn't go over 550, so it makes it easier for kids to hit. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So they don't have to try to hit a 900. Yeah, so that's pretty neat. So basically, it just does everything. You just plug in some numbers, and it figures the rest out for you. So, and now the uh, new boxing machine and kicking machine, whatever is your preference, 
is ready to go and filled with prizes. So you cut the string, door pops open, you win the prize. Crazy. Not, not a lot of people have this in the area, so we're really, really excited to get this up and running. And he's gonna have one downstairs that's on bills, so it'll track the people that are playing downstairs. So this we're gonna need the manual for, definitely. There's a problem that it keeps on opening up the door. Uh-huh, yeah, the, why is that? Oh, because there's no, it might be something about the weight. Yeah, that's how it knows. So the problem is it's not calibrated with the weight. There's no prize sensor in here when it falls, so it's, it's it's something with the weight of that is why it's popping open. I think it, when you put a prize in, it needs to be calibrated. Yeah, you can see it right here. Now the question is, how do we get into the god dang service mode? I don't even see a circuit board in this thing. Oh, it's probably down here. There we go. So this is kind of like my little diamond. It has the test buttons and stuff. You can set the motor speed. So if you want to go real fast, it makes it harder, obviously. I think it's a good speed. It's weird how you gotta do this. Like to enter the calibration, you gotta keep pressing test as you boot the machine. But it's not giving me those, it's not giving me those. Keep going through it. Oh, that's goofy. I don't like it. I don't like this menu. This could have been much easier. But we're gonna need to calibrate it. So, Daryl has another string cutting game. This guy has like a string cutting game fetish. And he's gonna leave this one on Bill's, guys. It's gonna be cool. What's up, Augie? What's up, Matt? Let's try and get this goober working. Look at that, Bill Acceptor's already installed. Nice. Can we just roll it over there? Yeah, look at this. I can move this with my mind. Daryl, where do you want this? Back where the games are? Somewhere nice and pretty. Right. <laughs> Oh, is that gonna fit through this thing? It's gonna be really close. <laughs> Bruh. I think the bottom, oh, those hinges. <sighs> Always something. All right, beep, beep. Oh, yes, made it. All right, so we're gonna find a nice spot over here. He can move it once we get it set up. Now the question is, is that cord long enough to plug it in? These are the same keys I got for my coin pusher. <laughs> that little tabletop one. Oh God. Oh, it came with two prizes? Bruh. What is this? String, manual, Jesus, look at that. You can do a random wind mode. The probability round is calculated by random function something. Oh my God, look at this. this. I need to go to algebra to understand this. Good gravy. These instructions are horrendous. Well, let's see how long this cord is. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's not gonna reach, so we're gonna have to move this. All right, so we finally found the manual inside this thing. And it says, after years of testing, we found normally skilled players will be able to win about every 100 to 200 plays on average. But there's this guy called Arcade Matt out there who seems to just know so much about these things. And now nah, it doesn't say that, but where is this? Uh, located in the back of your machines. <sighs> Why did they not make this easy? Uh, okay, maybe there isn't anything back here. This, this is what they need in the back of that. Oh, here it is, right here. There it is. Nice long controller here. See, this is actually easier than the, uh, uh, the smart one. It's not doing anything. Am I even in the test mode? All right, we're gonna put a buck in here, guys. We still can't, this controller is not working. It's very weird. So I just wanna see what the price is set on and everything. Round one. Oh, bruh. That was obvious riggage. Guess what? You still win. <laughs> Got you a dollar. All right, so it looks like it's on a dollar, but we can't get into the god dang test mode. Oh, wait, here we go. I don't know what the I hit, I got the password screen though. So you just start hitting buttons, guys, and things work. Oh, Basic yes. parameter, coins to play, one to 20. Wait, does this have quarters? No. No, it's just a dollar. Oh, okay, then we're good then. Time for around 20 is good. Volume, we can maybe increase out a little bit. Background music. I guess we'll have background music on, why not? Check sensor, that's good, okay. Diagnostics. This is where you tell the computer where the string is located, so checking this is crucial to make sure, okay, so I guess we wanna do this then. Oh, look, it's testing. Is it on? There? Looks like it. Cool. All right, so we're not gonna mess with that. So I love this. This is way easier to understand than the smart one up there. Smart makes some really good games, but that manual, it was just so confusing how to get into that menu. Even the tech guy was like, yeah, I don't even like this. So I'm liking this one a little bit better as far as setting the thing. So I'm gonna set this up and then we'll hang this guys and then uh, test it out. All right, we're gonna uh, string the bear up here. I, I don't know, we're gonna try it. I, I'm we hung not it by the zipper. This, I am. I mean, it works, I guess. I mean, it's a little awkward. It was bad. <laughs> dead. Know, like but how else are you gonna hang the dead? That's because he's, you know, these companies, you'd think they would send him one with the hook up here. I, I know they exist, okay? They send him ones with no, no loop-de-doop on the, on the head. I don't get it. So that's how he's gonna have to hang. So let's uh, lock her up and she's ready to go. I'll be the first guinea pig here, guys. Daryl's first dollar on Cut the Win. All right, here we go, guys. Ah, oh, bruh, too short. 
Cool. Right, it works. Try it, try it Daryl. He's checking his angles. Look at him. Ah, oh, bruh. Put it over him. Yeah, oh, come on. Oh, oh bruh. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was it. Servicing some games at 3RK. Let me know what you guys thought. Really cool seeing some of the inside looks at these things, how they work. Very neat. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Joe, for helping. Amanda for filming. Daryl for doing nothing. No, you did everything. <laughs> Daryl's amazing. Eventually, I'm gonna have my beanie claw machine down here as well. It'll probably be like back there or something. So if you guys enjoyed, hit the like button. ArcadeMats.com plush and prizes for sale. This was here at the one and only Three Rivers Karting. Now we're branded to 3RK. Check them out. I'll link them in the description. Super cool place, guys. They're just like family here to me. So glad to share this experience with you guys. Let me know what you guys thought. Like we always say, thanks for watching.